Moon River Studios, a division of Fanu2, is a film studio, production, and social commerce company actively developing a 1,560-acre film studio complex in Effingham County, Georgia. Joining us for the first time on New to the Street is their chairman of the board, Jake Shapiro. Welcome, Jake. Thank you. Great to be here. So, why Georgia? Uh, Georgia, believe it or not, is now number one in the country for growth in the film industry. $5.2 billion last year, just in film and television, just in Georgia. The state is on fire for the film industry. In fact, people have been calling uh, our project the Hollywood of the South. Oh, wow. What other successful films have been filmed in Georgia? You name it. Uh, Anchorman 2, Fast and Furious 7, Walking Dead, Archer, Hunger Games, uh, Ant-Man coming out uh, this summer, the Marvel flick. Wow. Uh, films that are set in New York, in Chicago, in, you know, Fantasyland, all being shot in Georgia, driven by a truly incredible uh, tax credit program. Right, so talk about that. Talk about this public-private partnership going on. There are two major reasons why these producers are coming from all over the world to shoot in Georgia. The first is there's no cap on the tax, pro on the tax credits. So whether you shoot a $10 million film or a billion dollar film, you get a 30% tax rebate uh, directly from uh, the state government. Secondarily, it, does in, uh, it includes talent. So you can afford to bring in big name talent, pay them what they command, and the state of Georgia will give you 30% back on that as well. Oh, wow. And also, it, they've eliminated or reduced political risk in that in many states, the tax programs have to be uh, approved every year, every two years. The Georgia program has no sunset. That makes sense. So tell me about the Moon River business model. Sure, so we are in coastal Georgia. We had a five state bidding war to bring our project to Georgia. And the reason why, as you or maybe your viewers may know, a lot of states have these very aggressive tax credit programs to bring projects to their states. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is for every dollar a company spends making a movie, it generates between three and five dollars in an incremental uh, economic revenue. Hotels, caterers, lumber yards, painters, electricians, it's this massive benefit to the local economy. But when the, sh the shoot ends, everybody gets on their planes and flies home. That effect of the economy is ephemeral. Moon River Studios, we're building a physical studio inspired by the great studios of the 20s and 30s and 40s. So we're creating permanent jobs that are still very high profile, mm. has this multiplier effect, but becomes a permanent impact on the regional economy. So because of that, there was a bidding war amongst a number of states after vetting the company, after vetting the business plan. Then there was a bidding war between Atlanta and Effingham County in Savannah, Georgia. And they gave us what was an incredible public-private partnership, specifically to incentivize us to move to Georgia uh, and create permanent jobs there. So the package is amazing. You also have a massive construction project in the works, and I hear it's one of the largest in the country. Tell me about that. It is. I mean, on a property twice the size of Central Park, our master plan includes over 30 full-size sound stages, office buildings, hotels, big box stores, approximately 70-acre concert facility. This is a tremendous, tremendous project. One of the biggest challenges facing Georgia right now is even with $5 billion of business, it's not enough. Demand is so outweighing supply for Georgia. Mm -hmm. And where we are in coastal Georgia, there are no professional sound stages of any size whatsoever. There are no grip and electric services that can service the films of the budgets that we're talking about. So as we've already announced as a company, we're in the process of acquiring Apple Box Productions, which is the largest, uh, I believe the largest equipment rental house in Northern Florida. Once we move to coastal Georgia, we'll be then, by definition, the largest player in coastal Georgia. So we're extremely excited about that. Mm -hmm. Just between now and year end, they're projecting between 60 and 100 million dollars of filming just in Savannah, just in uh, coastal Georgia. Wow, so tell me about the team that you're working with for this. You know, always bet on the jockey, not on the horse. <laughs> so even though we've got a great horse, we've got a lot of meat on the bone, and we're tangible, and I invite your viewers to come visit our property, which is beautiful. We have a 23-acre lake on the property. Uh, very proud of the team that we've assembled. We keep a very low overhead, because uh, we're a small team, 
but in my opinion, they're all rock stars. Yeah. So we'll start with our chief financial officer, Graham Bradstreet. Uh, Graham uh, co-founded Working Title, films such as Love Actually, which I'm sure you've seen, mm -hmm. and uh, Four Weddings and a Funeral. He went on to raise over a billion dollars in structured film finance, generating three billion in film budgets that generated seven billion in box office. Wow. Uh, so he's a legend in the industry. We're very lucky to have him as part of our team. And then my chief operating officer, her name is Alice Neuhauser. Uh, Alice is a, a Harvard undergrad, UCLA uh, MBA. She did the financial restructuring for a company called Carolco Pictures, which made Terminator 2, Basic Instinct. She then went on to run single picture finance uh, for eight years for Relativity Pictures. She produced uh, 310 to Yuma with Russell Crowe, amongst other films. And oh, by the way, she built a film studio. Wow. So she built Manhattan Beach Studios, uh, which I believe was booked out for between 12 and 18 months. By the day it opened for business, it was already pre-booked out that far out in mm. advance. So we have a team of incredibly successful people with a very proven track record of doing exactly what they set out to do, and quite frankly, changing the industry. Mm. So because of the size of our project, because of the location of our project, because of the cost structures of Georgia, complemented by the phenomenal tax structures in place by the state, you know, Moon River Studios, we believe, is really positioned to be a game changer in the entire film uh, entertainment industry. Well, your company surely seems to be forging its path in the film industry. So thank you for coming on New to the Street, Jake. Thank you for having me here. All right. If you would like to learn more, visit phono2.com. We'll be right back. <laughs>